Hi everyone, welcome back to Through Alchemy. So today's reading is going to be all about what has your person been thinking and feeling about you. We have three piles from the left to right. The first pile is how light. The second pile is moss agate. And the third pile is the train. Pause if you need a little bit longer, pick the one which calls your name the most. Now I'm going to begin with pile number one. Hello pile number one, if you chose the how light, this is going to be your reading. So the card that we have is Chiron. I have a few pre-shuffled cards that I am going to spread that out for you. All right, pile number one. So I'm just going to dictate the cards out. So we have four of swords clarified by eight of wands. We have eight of swords, justice, and star. In reverse we have the Hierophant in reverse, uh, Seven of Pentacles in reverse, we have the Queen of Swords in reverse and the Ace of Wands um, and that is Strength as well. We have Wrong Decision in reverse, Childhood PTSD, Envious, Old Memories slash Pictures in reverse. We have Chiron, Flowering which is the Queen of Pentacles energy. We have Express Your Love through Gifts, Actions Speak Louder, Actions Speak Louder in reverse, we have Saturn and Beyond Illusion. So one of the things that I hear over here is competitiveness uh, with this person. I think that this is someone who tends to become quite vengeful. Um, over here, this is a person that I'm picking up who is lacking to see their own self-worth. I think when it comes to you, this person is... Um, I think that this person is going through a phase of healing which there is quite a lot of resistance to with the death in reverse, the four of swords and eight of wands. I think that this is quite fast paced and your person is having a difficulty in, um, it's almost like the carpet under their foot, the rug has been just slid off and this person feels like they're gripping onto anything that they can. It's almost like they feel really scared right now because um, with the Beyond Illusion card over here and the Saturn, this is somebody who is struggling with um, staying balanced. And I think that um, if you were wondering if this person regrets what happened between the both of you, I'm afraid that might not be what you would like to hear because this person feels like they made the right decision however things panned out between the both of you with the wrong decision in reverse um i think that especially with the chiron um these are great wounds you know how we say that your um biggest gift is your deepest wound so it's almost like with the beyond illusion card this is somebody who's having to look within and break maya break free from the illusions of life and this is um this looks to me like a huge spiritual awakening for this person with the hierophant in reverse and the seven of pentacles in reverse and the envious i i don't feel like necessarily a person is envious of you for some of you this is because you have a gift of your own that you have discovered and this person has not understood yet what value they bring or what's their x factor let's say so that would apply for a few of you but um i feel like apart from that what majorly serves over here with these cards is that this person tends to become very possessive or jealous is what i'm hearing Thank you, Spirit. They're saying this person tends to become very jealous because they haven't found that ultimate source of life from within. 
um i think that this person is trying to be strong with the strength we have leo over here with with death we have scorpio libra justice hierophant taurus star aquarius so there's a lot of air and i think there's a lot of venusian energy for me whenever i see the planet of venus it's a lot about self-worth yet again thank you spirit so I think that with express your love through gifts, this person's love language might not have been um, words of affirmation or very expressive through words. This person tends to sort of like pamper other people through gifts to let them know how they actually feel about them. Um, and I think that when they tend to speak up, it's not in the best way that they actually articulate their feelings of maybe pain, sorrow or hurt. I think they tend to spill out quite a lot. But that's also because they don't speak up when it's required for them to speak up. So something that I see over here in the background camouflage could be the fact that this person um, could have completely refused from talking or sometimes when they withhold a lot that they want to speak about it it uh, suddenly just bursts out of them so this could be a spamming energy or like a very anxious energy once they start pouring out and i think that this could have overwhelmed you it's because they don't know how to open at the right time um, and they don't clearly understand their needs and boundaries so when they actually stumble upon the truth that this is what i want it's kind of like they can't avoid it anymore um, they start bursting out so i think that maybe this person spoke to you about something and um it could be either on the either ends like you or your person somebody over here actually said what they wanted to say and that was perceived by the other person to be a little rude or um very overwhelming on the receiving end and i think that what spirit wants to let you know is that this person um they they were impulsive okay they do think about that but they don't feel like it was wrong because uh, something was revealed to them about the both of you where they felt like they had to um they had to express what they felt inside um with saturn over here there's something that really broke your person's heart because i relate saturn with the three of swords energy something that's very pivotal and this could have involved perhaps a third party situation a third party is just basically um always something that has an undertone of lessons whether it comes in the persona of a family member career um you know a karmic partner that you're involved with um any any sort of thing that just manifests fear in the physical or external reality so that could have came between the both of you where your person was kind of like um they don't want to participate in it um and i think that with old memories and old pictures in reverse this is somebody that tries to not to reminisce quite a lot about the good times you've had this person tries to resist to look at you know maybe the pictures that you both have or just uh, memories or your texts because i think that they're really trying to be strong about this situation and even though there's this um sort of like dualistic energy where they realize certain things there's also certain things that need to be revealed to them which i'm hearing is not the time right now so there are certain things that need to be revealed to your person we have twice number eight over here um which really gives me that there's a lot of changes going on and there's a heavy karmic cycle that your person is crossing right now i think that with actions speak loudly and reverse this person um could have not expressed how do they really feel about you with you know um their actions through their actions Th this could have been someone who uh, you know would uh, perhaps spam by you or, or like gifts or something but i think that there was a lack of quality time spent together between the both of you because that's more action oriented and i feel like with the queen of pentacles definitely this is all about the earthly realm um i think that this is somebody who maybe couldn't give you that much time and i think that they thought that they were doing enough by showing you as much as they care about you but um 
something about their childhood makes them feel with the eight of swords over here and the justice it's almost like it's being clarified by the star and we do have quite a lot of major arcanas we have five out of eight so i think that this is someone who um in the moment couldn't see how their childhood was affecting you i think that this is coming to the peripheral of their mind as they're learning with the saturn beyond illusion this is somewhere where i would say that definitely a person has seen their own drawbacks or red flags in the connection i think that it's more related upon perhaps them not able to be themselves around you um and i think that we with justice this person um with the libra energy could have been someone who tried to alter them according to what you would like them to be i think that this was someone who was getting disconnected from their inner child um and i see that over here with the star in reverse this is a part of them that needs to heal and needs to understand that um they're just well and fine just the way they are and they're completely lovable by you or if it was on the other spectrum where you were altering yourself to fit this person's idea or whatever you thought that this person would like i think that this is a mirroring energy over here where the both of you are learning how to just be yourself and understand that the way you are is what makes you special like uh, the the difference that you have from other people is what makes you completely irreplaceable but i think that the major blockage that is over here with the envy is almost like this person tends to forget that you know their um, differences is what actually makes them you know um really beautiful and sort of like irreplaceable like i'm hearing a gem of a person so this is where that jealousy comes in from within when they suspect maybe this person has been cheated upon in the past Uh, there's some sort of insecurity that comes from childhood which they still have i get a hefty energy of childhood blockage over here so i think that there's a quite a long way to go for this person to heal from their childhood wounds with the hierophant in reverse this can definitely show that this person sometimes become becomes very fearful of investment and persevering in a relationship so i think that this person doesn't understand the ebb and flow of relationships they get very scared because with a star in reverse there's a very prominent abandonment wound that your person struggles with and i think that the reason why they delay upon saying what they do what they don't like or what they want to express to another person is because they're scared that the love will be taken away from them so this is in a um nutshell they they don't get jealous exactly of other people because um you know maybe they're better looking or they have their own things going on i think the underlying tone of every um you know emotion of jealous just in a way where you feel like you won't be accepted or you're difficult to be loved so i think this person still faces difficulty in believing that they are worthy of your love um and i think that a lot of their thoughts revolve around the fact that maybe you don't want them or maybe you don't like them as much as you like to be with another person this person has a lot of insecurity when it comes to being chosen by another person and especially you considering i'm hearing from spirit that there's still struggle in accepting that you know um there's this bond between the both of you i think this person tends to deny the bond quite a lot of times because of the way it makes them feel about themselves i think that their fears are majorly amplified when it comes to you and thinking that you know they will be your first choice so as rough as it gets i think this person has quite a lot of insecurity when it comes to being your ultimate choice uh, because the star in reverse and the justice can denote to me as a choice and they feel like you might or might not want to make that choice when it comes to them um with beyond delusion even though this person is learning a heavy lesson and i feel like it revolves around everything that um exists within them i'm also getting jupiter energy which is about soul expansion and um exploring your own life purpose there's a lot of um 
you know there's uh, heavy energies over here this is no small energy when you're picking this pile for your person this could also be mirrored by you but i really hear spiritual awakening because there's saturn and then there's chiron chiron is sort of very indicative of a spiritual injury you know where this person feels like they don't have that uh, special wow thing within them that you know people or a specific partner would really like to choose them for lifelong so this person could also be a commitment phobic um, because of the way that they feel about themselves there's a lot of subconscious patterns that still need to be revealed about this person i see that with the hierophant in reverse and the seven of pentacles in reverse um they lack that spiritual strength as of now or i'm hearing that they've always lacked that so this could be a very new connection for you doesn't have to be for it but i feel for majority of you this is a new connection it's like in months it's 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 pretty um young i'm feeling like it's a young connection right now it's not um somewhere where your person is um, able to face the truth of the situation completely um, especially because of the fact that they are not well acquainted with their own there's a lot of blockages when it comes to their heart chakra and their solar plexus and then there's their throat chakra but I think mainly it's their solar plexus where they don't believe themselves and believe in themselves they have a lot of difficulty and I think that this is um, you might have just met this person um, because um, they are feeling those emotions that you know you face when you first start falling for somebody and that's what they don't like and even if this is a separation pile and it's been ongoing this person is recovering from it okay they're recovering from their own triggers and if this has been a long connection um they're not liking the fact that they, they are circling back to you i'm seeing the orbit you know this person is revolving around you again and they don't like the fact that it's um, it's almost like life is leading them back to you okay and even if this is a newer connection they don't like how they can't get over you because it's it's not about you it's just about the way that this connection is really poking your person to heal themselves okay so um when i see over here with flowering and action speak loudly i think that um your person has not been the most forthcoming in this connection or currently their energy is quite held back um and i think that they try not to think about the happy moments spent together because it takes them in a mode of um, deep nostalgia where, where it, it's almost like they're not able to see how this connection will progress because of the way that you know I keep getting the word Maya, you know, it's it's a lot about illusions that um, make this person feel like to have this connection, there's a lot of difficulty. The Saturn card says, feel restricted, experience struggle, learn hard work and patience. So this process requires a lot of patience. And I think that this person tends to become a little hopeless when it comes to the progress of the situ situation, excuse me. I think that this person um, exactly lacks that spiritual strength. Thank you, Spirit. So Spirit is emphasizing wherever you are in this connection, this person is lacking that spiritual strength to stay afloat, you know, above the water level right now because of the way that they're feeling about themselves. And um, if you have known this person for a few years, I would say that this is a connection that has been in progress. Um, right now your person is going through heavy karma and it's not about bad or good karma it's almost like your person is having to heal themselves learn harsh lessons and they are kind of resisting this because um, specifically if this has been in a gestation phase I'm getting gestation phase for quite quite some time now I think your person is very deep in their childhood trauma like the abandonment wound that they have i'm hearing that stems from a father figure 
for a few of you this is both parents or your person could have also been orphaned but i think that um the deeper that they're going into this the more fears are coming and that's why with the chiron we began off saying that your your biggest wound is your greatest gift or your purpose so something about them healing themselves will help them navigate their way through life and understand their x factor and you know their own um supremacy in a way let's say in their life um, about where they're really good at and what comes easy to them i think that this time is also making your person a little bit worried about their own sustainability i i don't think your person is going through poverty per se but they are worried about future and how they're going to sustain themselves this could also be a pivotal point where they're kind of having to decide what really makes them happy and how would they would like, like to make a life out of it so i think that there's a lot of energy about um you know your person right now being detached from reality with the aquarius energy in reverse your person does feel a little bit detached from reality because more that they're experiencing these emotions they don't quite understand what's true and what's not because their life has always been perceived through a lens of pain and trauma right so having to encounter such a deep connection is i'm hearing from spirit that they are very anxious um sometimes they they fall into like panic attacks and this person cries a lot because um they just don't understand why do they feel for you so much because i think that this person feels like you they have not shared that amount of time with you or um gotten to know you or made you such a huge part of their life but they just feel this uncanny spiritual energy around them um of you so this person sometimes feels like you're watching them or you're just around them they feel like you're always right next to them like they feel your energy very deeply around them and this um precisely if this is a newer connection it really freaks out your person because they sometimes feel like they're being spied upon or something um and i think that if this is a this is an older connection like i keep hearing for the people who have been with this person or in this journey for a few years this this is precisely what spirit is calling a gestation period you know like when um the child is in a mother's womb for 9 months so this is something that is being birth because with the flowering queen of pentacles this is also a pregnant lady over here um and there's a lot of significance of a new person um coming through this so your person will be quite changed but i think that now maybe um through this um pain the pain that they're feeling you know the veil between the spiritual world and um let's just say god or divine and your person is very thin right now also because of beyond illusion so your person might be praying a lot might be indulging themselves into spiritual practices or whatever it is um and they are trying to hear to advices or whatever they can and i think that because they're so in pain they can also feel your energy which i think is your higher self or this person's ancestors i'm getting more it's your higher self um that is guiding this person as of now and they don't understand why they feel your energy around all of the time so this could also be an answer for you spirit is saying thank you spirit so spirit is saying if you feel your person's energy around um especially when you are hurting quite a lot there could be heightened telepathy as well it's because this person's higher self comes through and tries to guide you um you know it tries to help you this could be um a very high level soulmate connection because there's a lot of um energetic exchange that's going on over here so you have a very deep bond which i'm hearing that comes from a lot of past lives um and there's a lot of karma that you're solving from past lives because i feel like relatively you both haven't done anything to purposely hurt each other everything that's coming is coming from your past and um more often it's coming from your past lives like you're you're you have a very deep um um karmic bond with this person and that's not to denote the designation between the both of you whether it's good or bad it just means that you both decided before you reincarnated that you're going to solve these lessons together you're going to be each other's companion through this so even 
even though that you know again your person is healing through a lot of pain you're you're like that companion or let's just say you know you both decided to be best friends together through this difficult journey um up till a point in your life or whatever it is right so this is more about the bond that you share with your person is a lot about helping each other heal and guiding each other in spirit if you're not around each other because i think that there is a lot of um separation that takes place because you're not healing some small wounds you're not healing something that's very you know teeny tiny you're healing some major wounds that come from even your past life so this requires space and time and it does require spiritual strength to proceed forward is what i'm seeing all right so the justice card is very important over here so your energies are quite deep over here and i think that with the strength leo energy over here and the star aquarius with scorpio there these are very deep um so like very deep feelings that your person has and i think that they can't precisely wrap their head around at whatever level you are with each other like if this has been a long term connection or if this is just you know reunited in this lifetime whatever it is your person every time is shocked by the amount of feelings that they have for you and i think that this reading comes more from spirit rather than your person for being a communicative um source for the barriers that you have in between because you both are on different spectrums i see like um spirit holding the both of you back this connection is being blocked by spirit because you both have a lot of wounds and i think that um when either of you is quite triggered which is kind of false because i see that the both of you get triggered like like a domino effect that's how deep your energetic bond is with each other um and i think that spirit is keeping the both of you apart or there's a separation that's always divinely guided whether initiated from your person's end or your or your end i think that it's just because the energy is so you know um intense and diverse and i believe you would understand that because you can't really fight the feelings if you both don't have the caliber to withhold these emotions along with the pain that you are trying to heal you would literally like i'm getting rip each other's head off because of the um energy momentum right you wouldn't be able to calm yourself down and there would be a lot of um damage done that would be difficult to repair again right so that's the reason why if you've been wondering why it's so important for the both of you to separate is because you definitely do have a sacred bond with each other something that is very um that is something that is like a gift from the divine whether you see that in this moment or not um but i think that you have your own moments of gratitude when you realize how much this person helps you take away your pain right and it's not just something that you are doing this person is also learning from um the experiences that they have shared with you so ultimately i think when you dive deeper into these wounds it's a lot of question of why i think that this person thinks a lot about why don't you stick around them um and i think that this triggers their wounds of abandonment and unworthiness quite a lot like quite a lot um i think that this person tends to have um really um poor thoughts about themselves like i'm also getting like a suicidal um thoughts this person tends to go quite deep um and i know that this can be triggering for you to hear but um it's just um in a way where you understand that this person needs to learn to love themselves and that is the pull of the connection that you both share so i'm hearing from spirit this is again you know not not exactly for the faint of heart is what i'm hearing i mean i mean even though you feel like you don't have an option this is ultimately um something that they want to let let you know is that this is not exactly about the other person this journey is literally all about you and that person is just a mirror of you that's why this is a very um i'm getting primary soulmate something that's very intensified like you're connected through the red uh, red thread of fate all right so i get the go signal for flipping more cards now i think somebody over here really needed to understand the reason of why this person exists in your life so i hope that brought clarity to you love makes the different love helps heal past hurts and provides a sense of security and self worth 
thank you spirit so this was literally a confirm confirmation for everything that i just said right uh, about your past pain uh, something that i really see over here is that um your person um i don't think your person has ever explicitly hurt you gone out of their way and disappointed you or betrayed your trust i think one of the reasons why you perceive them breaking your trust is because they don't stick around when it's time the divine is like okay you two kids got to separate otherwise you're going to break each other's nose right now so this is exactly what i'm seeing you think that this person has betrayed you but it was all played out in a way where either one of you just had to walk away by hook or crook so that there is space between the both of you for you to calm down so i think that you know for majority of you this person has not actually done anything to betray you i think these are all just ways where you both are learning how to protect yourself how to um understand your self worth and how to put boundaries and even though there might be mistakes on both ends i think that these are just trial and errors but from spirit i'm hearing that this person hasn't really done anything to majorly betray you or hurt you i think this has never been your person's intentions to purposely go out of their way and hurt you or make you feel like they don't love you or something i think that this person does have very um this keep you in a very high light with the queen of pentacles this person honestly sees you as someone that they would like to put the roots down with they would like to have a family life with again there's a lot of reference about having children or like childhood or something like they really imagine something that is very like a fairy tale with you is almost what i like to say and we have house 3 so the third house is all about um over here i would say that this is a lot about self expression as a child so your person is healing not only from their childhood but a lot of i keep getting the reference of past life ascension like your person and you have been doing this karma clearing for a few lifetimes and you might have just felt this sort of recognition when you met your person for the first time there was a sense of comfort there was a way where you felt vulnerable with this person even without wanting to be maybe you overshared with this person sometimes but you also knew in your heart that this person can be trusted even though your trust issues were being triggered because the love was so deep but you almost felt like you can communicate with this person or share the things that you don't really share that quick with another stranger is almost what i'm hearing so mainly if we relate the third house with childhood is almost like your person's self expression as a child not being able to communicate properly so this is also a barrier between the both of you i see that your communication styles are a little bit crooked like you don't know exactly how to say certain things when they're required and i think that this person um slightly perceives you to be a little bit aggressive in your approach if that has happened um they feel like you come on too strong where they can't really um um they can't withhold the intensity sometimes it really reminds them of a childhood however your communication styles are it's not exactly the same i think that there is um because it's kind of obvious that the way you're able to trigger each other is um is sort of like projecting the opposite image or supposedly the image or behavior that you received in your childhood uh, it's almost like revisiting the past and that is precisely the way you both um trigger each other because it reminds you of something you've experienced and you kind of have to dig inside deep as to why does that hurt you and how that makes you feel and if it's taking away your power how to take it back right so it's it's again repairing so this chiron card is not just indicative of your person but it's also about you pile number 1 and the last card that we have is leo and in reverse so this is what i spoke about right with the strength over here leo energy this leo really denotes about superficial approaches and um unwilling to admit your fault so this person could have been in a place where they were unwilling to admit their fault and this could be in correlation with the fact that they're still sort of like um seeing in the way that they just got hurt and they don't understand your perspective as of now i think that that is the part that is not revealed to them as of now is how they could have hurt you in the process i think that this is a part where it is a harsh reality that your person does not completely understand how they could have hurt you or the situation could have pan 
stand out and um i think that this person could have projected something onto you which is a no brainer between the both of you and i think sometimes you're not able to see how it's affecting other people around you because of the way that you are kind of so blinded by your own pain i'm hearing that you um both i think with this leo this is again about not knowing how to um i don't mean to sound insensitive but it's almost like you don't know how to be peaceful um within your own self like there's something always bothering you or triggering you and this is because of the deep childhood pain that you still have to relieve release to become ultimately okay in life okay to be a fully functional adult and feel um like there's nothing missing within you or there's no void or there's no uh, sinking feeling unless and until you're out of your comfort zone right so that you're okay with the, the ebb and flow of life and this relationship as well i think that one of the most um uh, deep emotions that i felt from this person's end is that they get scared of the ebb and flows the ups and downs of relationships because they've experienced quite a lot of loss and this is probably the reason why this person runs away because they can't bear any more loss and i think that you as much as they appreciate you they want you they put you on a pedestal um they can't kind of tolerate the pain of being apart from you also pile number one okay so before we conclude this reading i have an advice card for you we have heart comfort 11 in reverse so 11 is again a twin flamey soul matey number and we have seven which is a very divine number with the moon i think that this reconnects the whole reading thank you spirit which says about you know you both when you're pushed out of your comfort zone um you don't have trust and often push being pushed out of your comfort zone can create a lot of feelings of despair despair or like um restlessness within you and your person but since this advice is about you i think that this is a lot about the fact that you are still not okay with um you know looking deep inside as to where it really hurts and especially when it comes to your feminine energy you could have a very masculine energy or an approach towards life right now and i think that this calls for you to understand um how can you step a little bit outside your comfort zone when it comes to understanding your own emotional feminine body and i think that you are also quite intuitive i'm hearing a clairvoyant psychic abilities so divine has been trying to communicate with you about your childhood wounds which will enable you to understand more about your life path and how to go forward but i think one of the main things that is a theme that is common between the both of you you and your person is that you don't know how to tackle the unknown it's like you get really Really scared of things that don't have a certainty factor to it right and this is something that is being denoted over here that you need to dive deeper into these um tangles that you have these knots that you have within so that you can untie it and it doesn't create so many sort of like a feelings of um I keep getting restlessness like the moment you're out of your comfort zone or you've been placed in a new group of people or you're a little anti social you don't feel confident enough in making new friends or um getting along with a different ethnicity or people from different walks of life there's a, something about your communication and self expression especially by number 1 that you need to start diving deeper into the ways that you feel okay in expressing yourself and becoming more confident in your approach in life and being like um you know every person has something um very important to share to another person right and even if you feel like you don't have that life experience spirit is telling that you have that life experience that can inspire or just give another person a pearl of wisdom right so um it's the way that you feel confident enough in what you've been through and you also have life experience okay um i think that you downplay your own wisdom when it comes to certain things and um i think the more that you start maybe going out or start finding perhaps people that are not exactly like you you will be able to um appreciate the dichotomy of life let's just say that you will be able to perhaps make new of friends and get along with them there's something about just i keep getting the image of when you step outside of your room you just feel like you're very restless like you like to be confined and that is something that spirit is breaking not just for you but also your person all right 
So pile number one, this was your reading. I really do hope that you found a message that was helpful. If you did, please do hit the like button. Subscribe for more, hit the bell icon so you know whenever I upload next. Let me know down in the comment section how that resonated and I'm gonna see you guys in another one. Bye! Hello pile number two, if you chose the moss agate, this is going to be your reading. So the card that you chose is blood. I have a few pre-shuffle cards that I'm going to lay out for you. Alright, pile number three. I'm going to dictate out your cards before we start in interpreting them. We have blood, like attracts like. We have we're almost there, trust me, attraction, passion, self-esteem issues, make effort in reverse. We have Aquarius in reverse, Mercury. We have um, have patience in reverse, change in reverse. Number 10 is very significant over here. For the tarot cards, we have seven of, seven of wands in reverse, nine of swords in reverse, ace of wands in reverse, wheel of fortune, king of cups and four of cups in reverse. With the wheel of fortune, we have all zodiac signs. So... Let's dive in with the reading. So the blood card, the main signatory um, energy over here is a lot about moving from your mind to your body. It's a lot about um, exiting a survival mode. Now your person is someone who has attracted a lot of negative vibrations just like them. Okay, this is not to be um, insulting or dismissive of themselves. But I think that your person is somebody who has attracted a lot of people that act from lower vibrations. And um, Spirit is saying that you both operate on the same frequency at a heart level. Now, something that I would like to clarify over here is that we attract people that are on our heart frequency. The frequency is radiated or... Um, it emerges from your heart frequency. So something that is very common between the both of you is lack of self-esteem. I think that um, for your person, especially over here, um, we have this uh, this energy that is mirrored. There's a lot of mirroring over here and this person is serving as a complete mirror to you with the blood over here is what I feel, okay? Even though this might be a little bit difficult for you to grasp, but that's the reality of your situation that you both have still a lot to heal in the heart chakra and the sacral chakra as well. One of the things that I see over here is that your person has always um, gone for people that are... <coughs> <coughs> That was a very striking hit in my throat chakra. Um, the moment these things happen, I feel a lot of sense of um, spiritual warfare. There could be a lot of substance abuse as well. Um, I hear from spirit that you should um, cleanse yourself, do protection prayers for you and your person as well. It's not for union per se okay it is just to protect your person when they don't know how to protect themselves and um, it's just counting them in your prayers i think that with the wheel of fortune and the ace of wands your person is waiting for a time that you both can reunite but something about it feels like it's out of alignment over here i have a heavy strain in the temples um and i feel as if that this uh, this is somewhere where your person could also be a little sick because of the upsurge of energy that's coming in from within. I get a lot of ascension symptoms from your person. With the blood over here, it's almost like your person's energy is a lot about wanting to do better for themselves. But something about this connection makes them feel like they can't do any better, okay? Seven of Wands in reverse and Nine of Swords in reverse. Your person is trying to heal themselves, okay? That's one of the things that I see over here. But this is an overthink with the mercury over here i think that there's a lot of um, friction between the both of you when you communicate with each other and i think that often this person feels like you both can't see eye to eye that's the that, that precisely feels like the reason why your person is not able to make effort as of now i think that they want to get closer to you i think that with we're almost there trust me your person is um closer than you realize okay and i think that you're expecting the worst possible scenario even when this person returns but spirit 
wants to affirm it to you that things are going to progress this person has deep emotions but right now they're kind of sloppy okay with their approach they don't exactly know how to compartmentalize things because at this time it's important to segregate what's coming from past and what's in the present that can manifest in the future right this is sort of like um, digging and sort of like you know how you're cleaning your decluttering your own room it's like keeping things that I want to donate, keeping things that I want to throw away, keeping things that I'm still going to use. Um, it's all sorts of these feelings that are mixed right now. Okay, and I think that there is um, yet clarity to come in this connection when it comes to your person because a lot of it is attached to your person's self-esteem issues where they have to walk through this with the four of cups in reverse and the king of cups this is an energy which um gives me like your person is trying to overcome these feelings of feeling not wanted by you maybe you gave that impression or maybe they just took that but majorly i feel like you could have rejected this person because they were behaving frivolous is what i'm hearing they do intend to make themselves better okay but intention and the practicality or applicability of it is very different is what i'm hearing from spirit thank you spirit so they're telling me that you know even though this person wants to do better there's still um things that they need to release themselves from so that they can actually um improve themselves uh, there's a heavy emphasis on health over here because of you know the whole starting of the reading it was a striking pain in my throat and i think that this comes from your person's substance abuse there's some sort of addiction maybe this person smokes quite a lot and maybe to the detriment of which it is harming their health and um whatever it is okay addictions are very um diverse there's a, there's a lot of things that might not include substance but it could be majorly is what i'm feeling for one percent of you your person uh, feels like they have given up okay and i think that how you can figure out that your person is that one percent is if they have gone into another relationship that you're aware of your person at the moment is at a pause um with the ace of wands in reverse and the wheel of fortune i think that this is someone um with the aquarius energy they're quite detached from reality so they're not able to understand how to process things between the both of you i think that with the change and the have patience in reverse this is that energy that tells me that your person faces a lot of difficulty right now in believing in the success of this connection that's why they're not making the effort but um you know there's this um there are two spectrums to this and within your person only um, where they want to make this better but they're not doing anything about it that's why i feel like this king of cups is very lazy and lethargic and that might be a little disappointing but that's the reality of the situation because they're inducing themselves into some sort of escapism that is um, making them entitled to become more lazy they don't have inspiration is what i'd really like to say um so with the wheel of fortune even though you know wheel of fortune Fortune upright is like cycles turning around maybe this person suspects that you're going to move on um, because they're not doing anything about it right so they feel rightfully said so that you know you're not probably going to stick around and this person also realizes even though that there's passion that's calling them towards you this person could have confused this connection with just something that is on the physical level or it's just about your physical appearance because i think that you are a really beautiful person but i think that this person um previously or still does face difficulty in understanding how the both of you are a good match for each other this really gives me that the yin and yang energy unless and until you come into a specific level of frequency you're not able to see the value that the other person adds you know like the yin and yang where you're 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 maybe a little bit shorter at certain um I would say skills this person is good at that and vice versa so that's where the yin and yang really works in both of your favors with the wheel of fortune also i get this energy um there's a lot of egyptian reference over here so something that goes um really deep in the past past life connection over here um spirit is kind of telling me that the both of you still require a few a few months or few weeks to remain apart from each other even though you might be feeling this neediness like i really want my person to come back to me i think that you could have had a lack of boundary or this person could have had lack of boundary with themselves um somebody over here could have overstepped
but something about this energy is making me a little bit like um drained because um pile number three you really need to induce yourself into spiritual protection because it's really affecting your connection and um don't be fooled by the fact that just because you're not with your person it's not affecting the both of you this is something that uh, plays on your heart strings and the more you know it's almost like the enemy from outside cannot attack what's inside unless and until it is attacking you or you're enabling it to attack from within right it's a metaphor for fears so uh, negative entities tend to feed upon your fears and they try to amplify it or use it to their advantage and make you do certain things okay the blood card also gives me a lot of um, maybe witchcraft or magic going on over here and that doesn't have to be spirit is saying that don't take that too seriously but definitely do consider that there is warfare going on over here as soon as i tap into the synergy because there are only a few readings where i have tapped into my um readings um related to their person and romantic relationships where i have faced literal physical symptoms and the moment i tap into them i can feel when there is negativity in the connection that is not purposely created by both counterparts but from outside and it's more um through the spiritual realm so you have to be very concerned about these things especially as the feminine energy is something that i really believe in is that um you know the prayers of your feminine energy really guard the masculine energy so that is something that you have to kind of learn to um um sort of like in include in your own daily routines so that you're not just protecting just you're not doing this just for the connection or to get into union with that person you're doing this to the goodness of your own heart that you know how difficult this can be and you're trying to help the other person as well when they don't know how to do it you don't have to go and save them in the 3d world you just have to love them from afar and that's the most you can do if you feel so much love for them right so we're going to flip a few more cards that we have. We have love is all around you. There is love everywhere all the time. Simply acknowledge this as truth. And we have the master. So with the master over here with Aquarius and Mercury over here. Mercury is all about mind and communication. And the master card is about um, understanding your own emotions, anxiety and restlessness. When it comes to your person, and I keep hearing that it's, it's also for you. What you're seeing in your person is also within you. So this blood card can definitely uh, indicate, you know, this inspiration to do better. But the inspiration or the sort of like... um motivation or understanding that you will gain is from understanding your own emotions the way that your walls are come crumbling down when you come across this person you don't understand why you feel so much and you tend to give them leverage because you feel like unconditional love. sometimes pile number two i think you and your person don't understand that unconditional love is not unconditional um tolerance right and i think that you fail sometimes to protect yourself in this connection against this person even though you feel your person around and you understand that you know there is so much love between the both of you i think that there are a little bit loose boundaries within you that enable this person or give them leverage to take advantage of it because simply when they come from such a lower vibration they tend to become an energetic vampire now that is a term that makes you probably feel like your person is bad but um the harsh truth of reality is that when we're going through something that's very deep and we don't know how to love ourselves and generate that light from within, even we tend to become energetic vampires, okay? You wouldn't even realize when you're being like that, when you're desperately clinging on to other people or other things to give you a source of light from within to keep going on, right? So this is nothing to insult your person or diss them off when, when we call them that, but this is for you to understand that right now, um, your person, and again, they keep saying, you, the both of you so this is very mirroring okay um similarly the way you're feeling feelings of frustration anger unknowingness like this feeling of i can't believe that they did that to me your person also feels somewhere like that and if this person has betrayed you they have these feelings of like um how can i do that to another person that is so beautiful inside out like even though your person i think you that you underestimate your person's ability to see um how you allow them to take advantage of you because they they can energetically feel a lack of boundary and you know why it's it's energetically felt is because they can only respect you um as much as you respect yourself so when they sense that you're allowing and you're giving into things that you know you have loose boundaries into they 
cognitively perceive that as a green light to just do whatever they want because you're not teaching this person how to treat you okay as difficult that might be to hear for you this is the truth of the situation that the more that you respect yourself the way that you show up is something that um, speaks for itself and makes the other person like aware of the fact that you're not going to let them do this right um, it's almost like how your energy introduces you before you enter a room or introduce yourself right so this is precisely what i'm seeing over here with love is all around you there is love everywhere all the time simply acknowledge this as the truth so even though that you are so pouring into them um i think that a part of you is needy right now which your person energetically picks up and is making them lazy because it's not giving them that nudge that you know i can lose pile number two they've become a little bit comfortable with the situation and even though that their higher self is telling you that we're almost there i wouldn't be assured if this person will be 100 percent emotionally available when they return so that's something that you have to repair from within because if you still attract this person into your life and you haven't you know that you haven't completely healed and you're doing this out of neediness to be loved by another person you have to understand that this person would also be a little bit changed not completely because if they were able to align with you again it means that you're also kind of still functioning at the same pattern and I, I i kind of feel a little bit of disbelief on this person's end that they will reunite with you but then again their higher self says that you know we're almost there so something about it is not being revealed to me as of now it's a little bit more focus on yourself pile number two rather than what this person is doing because um you're 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 resisting change as much as your person is because you have lack of patience as well and i think that this comes down to the fact that you you take the behavior that this person gives you because of the way that you feel about yourself and you're not making as much effort as you should you're getting a little bit lazy in your spiritual practices and that's the reason why it's creating these loopholes or leakages for negative entities to come in as the feminine energy there are certain things that you can do to protect your connection and just protect your own energy because um energetic vampires are not just 3d they can also be in the spiritual realm right negative forces that work upon you and try to pick on your fears this can also be something so one of the major things that i hear from spirit is that you need to get on your rituals or your just your daily prayer or something like every day you just have to speak it into existence that i am protected and my person is so and so protected from negative forces okay that's all you have to do but it, it kind of has to become like the way you breathe and um, one of the spiritual practices that i'm getting is how to protect yourself or guard yourself or put a shield around you is that you close your eyes and you imagine yourself being covered in a pink bubble where um, and um, it's completely sealed so that is something that is shielding you from negative entities and you can do that same for your person in a blue bubble is what i'm hearing from spirit so that actually elevates your vibration for your person is what i'm hearing so you can do that when you meditate so that its potency is intensified and there a protection that you're giving to your person as well okay pile number two so um wrapping up this i think that there is um a lot of healing that needs to take place on both ends so that you can heal from your own rejection wounds i again feel the throat chakra acting up so i'm gonna wrap this reading up because spirit is telling me to not um repeat the same words you have to be more focused upon your own spiritual protection because this could also be playing on the both of your minds um because it's not helping you connect with your heart right the enemy plays on your minds and your fears but when it's connected with the heart and spirit there's more light imitating from within which can help you um, bifurcate these feelings and these fears all along all right so the advice that we have for you pile number two is storms cleansing 23 number 5 and completion west so i immediately feel like you are coming to a completion cycle okay wow we have the mind over here with the piece of puzzle thank you spirit so they are telling me that a lot of things that are triggering you are in your mind and you need to clean that um storms is almost like self-forgiveness over here decluttering that i spoke about previously right thank you so much spirit so this reading is very divinely guarded if you stumble upon it uh, do consider to take these measures um, especially protection spells that i spoke about very seriously for yourself at least um and they're saying that don't forget your person 
they keep reminding me that it's not for union it's just from the beauty of your own heart that you know that somebody else needs just your prayers to be counted in your prayers um and i feel like this is again you know the woman over here she is looking up in the sky where there's raining and it's it's just giving me the feminine energy and the earth ground yourself clean up um it's leading you to the end of a cycle and try to put in more effort in yourself rather than looking at what this person is doing and trying to find answers through tarot readings because the more progress you will see is through putting in work in yourself not through tarot readings or in your person all right you are the creator of your own destiny pile number two so pile number two this brings us to the end of your reading i'm going to leave it here i really do hope that you found a message that was helpful if you did please do hit the like button subscribe for more hit the bell icon so you know whenever i upload next let me know down in the comment section how that resonated and i'm gonna see you guys in another one bye hello pile number three if you chose the citrine this is going to be your reading so the card that we have is reddening so i have a few pre-shuffled cards that i'm gonna spread that out for you all right pile number three before we start interpreting the cards i'm gonna dictate out the cards for you we have choose love receptivity in reverse innocence in reverse ten of wands five of swords king of pentacles we have nine of swords we have page of cups three of cups page of wands in reverse we have forgiveness relationship and sex in reverse we have do something for someone we have power struggle sagittarius reddening and understanding over here first of all one of the things that highlights the most in your reading is that this person gave you the idea that they don't want a relationship and they could have come across as very sexual towards you but i think that there was lack of passion as well all in all this person was very occupied with themselves is what i feel over here with the sagittarius this person was feeling discontent is what i mainly feel over here there's a part of them which relates with commitment is very um suffocating it okay um your person is all uh i'm hearing the word flabbergasted like um something that makes them feel very um claustrophobic in relationships is why they can't really invest into it as much as they'd like to it's almost like this person feels okay in fantasizing about the relationship rather than putting in more work and it's not because they're lazy perhaps we're just saying they're a little little they become a little lethargic but it's not because they don't want to choose love your person has chosen you okay or they didn't do that in the past because there's a lot of self-forgiveness that's required within themselves and in this connection as well the way things have transpired is almost like it's pulled this person into becoming more reliable for you and for themselves as well with the five of swords this is an energy of somebody especially in this tarot deck it's somebody who's trying to resolve their own internal battles when it comes to being in a relationship i think that this person recognizes their own red flags as of now with the reddening uh, you know the reddening is a card which talks all about climax of work like lessons being learned and of moving from the mind to more of action and this person is getting ready for some action something that's very big making a choice before i even began off with your reading i started hearing certain messages which was about a choice to be made and i think that even though the choice hasn't been prominently made in the physical realm it's something that is being supported in the um spiritual realm by this person the spiritual energies are gaining more um i'm hearing the word aptitude or sort of like the momentum is gaining um energy over here so it's almost like you know this person with the power struggle and understanding their understanding that you know um they were not able to free themselves from this idea of commitment and marriage and the reality of love perhaps that was very entangled with their past over here the way we have these these four cards aligned just give the, gives us the underlying story within your person that they're not able to choose love because innocence receptivity in reverse really gives me your person's childhood trauma which is related closely with the forgiveness cards in the page of cups um somewhere this person felt like there was a lot of power struggle within their relationship with their parents or their teenage relationships where they felt overburdened with carrying a lot of weight in the relationship this could have been someone who used to chase a lot of love and subsequently became an avoidant attachment style being more fixated upon with this sagittarius like i want my freedom okay i feel caged with the concept of love because 
because this was more fixated in the mentality, the way that they perceived love. Um, I see that with the innocence card in reverse, this is like lost zest for life and unable to connect with yourself and your own truth. You know, the innocence is a card of an elderly person with a grasshopper. And I think that with receptivity in reverse over here, this is a lot about not being able to give yourself an potentially i think that this person is not somebody who can't give they have more difficulty in receiving love they feel like they're very difficult to love and they can't exactly um be cherished for who they are with the page of cups they were made felt small the page of cups says about dreams and somewhere this person was made felt like whatever they want which is like a best friend in their lover is something that they found very difficult to achieve okay with the reddening we have this silver metal and gold ball over here so i see this as somewhere where there's this life force that's being um gathered encouraged from within and spirit is emphasizing on the word gathered like your person is getting ready they're accumulating themselves to make this step forward okay now one of the main things that i want to let you know is that through tarot readings you're always going to hear that this person is going to take action but you get disappointed when because this is a spiritual process that's going underneath okay this is a lot about them um segregating their childhood trauma from the way that they feel about you because you bring out these emotions as harsh that might be to accept this is the truth of this connection that the dichotomy is that as much as they want you um, your reflection and i mean your reflection stops them from coming forward because they see themselves in your reflection that's sort of like lhs equals to rhs right so that's the reason why they're not able to come forward as of now because there's a lot of cleansing going on even though that they want to take action their energy is more action oriented as of now this person i'm almost getting that they want to live life with you rather than dreaming about it but they also realize that you know the way that they treat themselves let's just begin off begin off with this that the way that they treat themselves is the way that they will be able to treat you right people can only meet you to the depths that they've met you so met themselves excuse me so um i think that this is someone who still has to release themselves from their own pain and this is um end of cycle because we have 10 so this will come to a completion with 21 choose love this is number three which is all about um balancing your body mind and spirit for me so this is coming to a climax with the reddening over here where your person is um, I think that this person has accepted their feelings for you. They're so deep. They've they've tried to run away from it. They've tried to maybe entangle themselves in other relationships. There could have been a third party involvement after you is what I'm hearing. They've tried to sort of escape from this. But what they were led into is realizing that, you know, th those connections were more face, um, based on transactional um, equivalence, right? They were not getting fulfilled in those connections. Um, those people that they were attracting were also commitment forms to an extent and they used to show them the red flags that they had probably shown you so there's a fair share of karma playing over here where your person is learning these lessons or spirit is connecting correcting me they're saying hashtag learned so that that's kind of funny but i don't mean to um rain on your person's parade i think that with the serpent over here they're growing from this lesson over here and i think that um, these rabbits really represent you as somebody that's giving me very queen of cups energy over here you're very loving and this is something that your person really misses if you're especially in separation and it's almost like looking for you and other people and not even realizing that i'm doing that because it's so difficult to come towards you without separating all this trauma that they have to eventually face themselves in the mirror and be like i can't find a pile number three out there pile number three is the only person who is like pile number three who is going to be pile number three right so this is a lot about just accepting that as much as they are irreplaceable so are you and the more that they will be able to understand your worth is when they start respecting themselves and understanding their worth so the most optimistic thing that i get over here is the king of pentacles energy with the reunion card over here with the three of cups which is forgiveness and relationship in reverse now this is not somebody who is um 
intending to shoot themselves in the foot again this is somebody who does not like to leave loose ends and whereas i feel like with the three of cups there are loose ends now three of cups are karmic energies that are manifestations of fear outside the divine connection so this just basically means if they have a karmic partner if they do extensive labor work you know like workaholism or they have addictions or anything that stops them from being their best self with you is something that they know that they have to segregate from this relationship and themselves because again um, the ultimate thing that they realize or they see even if not in the same terms that are described that you are a reflection of them so some things that they don't like within themselves are also um, present within you that they have to be patient with and i think that this person could be watching tarot readings about this connection um it's a lot about loyalty to yourself and the person that you're with that holds you a little bit accountable and responsible for the way that you um present yourself because i think that this person was not inducing themselves in a very serious commitment because they knew that their actions would directly affect you and vice versa right so they were not ready to take upon that amount of i would say um commitment because commitment is not just a word right it's about um in a way where it's different when you say i love you and you sort of um hold yourself reliable for fulfilling that those three words right it's not just about saying that i love you it's about keep on choosing love again and again even through the difficulties that you face within yourself or outside in the world right so with the page of wands is a very important card with nine of swords in the relationship your person realizes that their behavior was not up to the mark for a very fulfilling relationship and again it keeps bringing me back thank you spirit they keep bringing us back to this um you know truth of reality that the way you share that relationship with yourself is the way you'll share that relationship with all other people in your life so again the reddening and sagittarius and sex in reverse is a lot about this person has reached a point where in casual sex is not fulfilling them even if you suspected that this person in separation has this sort of demeanor to them it's not fulfilling them they realize that everybody else it's almost like your person has started realizing there's this father wound uh which relates with over sexualizing yourself because you want to feel loved and workaholism and whereas the mother wound comes in um lack of intimacy fear of intimacy and unable to be in a relationship so there's two tangents to it where there were possible um difficulties that your person faced in understanding themselves even if they don't understand where these wounds come from i think that over sexualizing themselves is something that they're finally freeing themselves or i'm hearing from spirit that they have free freed themselves from it um this is something that they have um potentially left now they don't really like it because it doesn't fulfill them you know why it's because your person has raised their vibration and now going back to the same partners with the understanding and do something for someone give your attention to another this is giving me a shadow attribute with 41 reduces to 5 which is almost giving me like your person has understood that you know this is like a transactional relationship um you know like i'm giving my attention to you or i'm having sex with you or something and it's just sexual energy it's just intercourse it's not really fulfilling your person and this is their power struggle that they're facing with other people perhaps and they're also realizing this power struggle that played out in your relationship where maybe they were taking more than they were giving and it precisely narrows down to these three cards that they were not able to choose love they were not receptive to it and i think one of the main blockages is that the both of you are not able to accept love sometimes there are certain things that need to be healed and left behind with the 10 and the 5 which is like a half i really feel that over here that you know this is um precisely it's it's almost getting done because uh, you know the spiritual process is going on there's a lot that's hap happening behind the scenes you know pulling down the curtain but the physical manifestation is yet to take place so the more that your person understands these behaviors it's it's coming to the peripheral of the mind and it's absorbing it's like it's it's being absorbed and it's being simmered down that I don't like these half-assed relationships you know I want something that's more fulfilling because your person's vibration is raising they're healing from it right so these people really don't fulfill your person anymore especially if you're in separation um they're trying I'm getting the word celibacy like they're trying to preserve their sexual energy more because their self-worth is raising right they're becoming more um certain and strict with their boundaries just with themselves like what is worth my energy and what's not so your person is growing out of this phase of um 
perhaps being frivolous with their own energy and that's what they used to show up in your connection as well but in your connection i think that because of the um amplification of fears and energy between the both of you there was also a lack of um, passion over here that was probably being erupted within like it's almost like your person could have gone in depression which gives me that there was um a blockage like a libido blockage like they were not able to feel themselves completely and it's because of the way that the heart chakra was pulsating so they were realizing that what they were always craving was love out of sex this is a lot based upon the way that they shared their own sexual relationship with themselves and how they treated themselves through this connection um through this connection's lessons this person is raising their self worth so at this point they have learned quite a lot of lessons on how to respect themselves how to treat themselves better all right so I'm seeing that over here with the innocence and receptivity yet again, um, where your person was not able to connect with their own truth. I think they're able to understand these cage limiting beliefs that were coming from their parents' power struggle. Both parents were very strong personalities and I wouldn't really recommend that they were divine energies. And that's why they, they saw this energy within their parents. Like the relationship that was shared was more on like as a masculine, I'm supposed to probably put the food on the table and as a feminine, you're probably just used to um giving me pleasure so i think that there could have been a little bit misogynistic energy within your person especially if there were a man and if this was a woman she perceived the feminine character gender as to being very weak and i think that now that there's a balance of this masculine energy coming in your person understands you know because the sexual energy is a part of the feminine energy so now that this is being balanced there's a lot of healing of the toxic femininity that's taking place so i'm going to flip out a few more cards we have have relationship pattern split upright or reverse they're telling me to take this reverse and we have the sun upright or reverse upright so we have sun and relationship pattern so sun when it's upright it's a lot about vitality you know self-expression um i think that this is also denoting that your person in the i wouldn't say near future for few of you this could be applicable spirit is saying for majority of you um your person would like to meet you and let you know about things and the way they feel about you because they they don't want to give you the wrong impression through a phone call or a text message they want to come up and meet you and let you know what they've experienced or perhaps just let you know that what they have realized about this connection and with relationship patterns in reverse they're taking their time unless and until they are confident in the fact 32 reduces to five that you know they have forgiven themselves for this because there is guilt and remorse about the way that they have handled this and with the five of swords there's still an internal battle going on as to whether they can fulfill this dream of themselves of their own like um, will they able to be receptive to this connection will they able to um, differentiate from their own childhood trauma and choose love because they feel uh, the, this person could have witnessed divorce between their parents or they could have been through that themselves there's still a disbelief be between what do I understand about relationships, honestly. So I think that Spirit wants me to take out a channel deck for your pile. I haven't done that in previous decks, but it's whatever Spirit tells me to do um, to gain proper insight. So I'm just going to pull out a deck that I made. So this is usually my shadow deck. So Angel Guide Spirits, please help me connect with pile number three's energy. What is vital for us to know about them? What would they like to say? Okay, this card is important. I was blinded by my own pain. I see you for who you are. So bottom of the deck, we see I have been craving you. So this is that energy where it's like that lack of passion is reviving itself with the sun masculine energy over here. Again, see, like this confirms what I said. Thank you so much, Spirit. Like the relationship patterns, why they were not able to be receptive. Receptivity comes in the feminine energy. When you're too much in your masculine energy, you, you forget about, you know, your own emotional body and what's the other person feeling as well. This person could have had 
um, this behavior of dismissing your feelings and your requirements and needs. They were not adjusting with what you wanted. And this is that collaboration of a commitment, right? It's a lot about um, living up to the words that you're saying. These are not just three words. They're also like, you know, when you say I love you to somebody, you have to live up to that as well, right? You have to um, do things that you choose love every day. And choosing love means choosing that person that you love, right? Despite the challenges that are thrown at you. So um, your person was blinded by their own pain and they couldn't understand what you were saying. They were very dismissive of your feelings is what I'm feeling. I'm scared if I let you in too much, you won't love me for who I am. So this is that discrimination they do with themselves. Even though they, they see you in such a bright light, they don't believe in themselves. The innocent card in reverse is also this caged energy about not being able to connect with your inner child. For a long time, I think your person had forgotten who they were truly inside under these layers of superficiality. I feel like your person is moving into action. The reddening card is so important to understand that this, these are thought processes thought processes clearing out excuse me and coming into the physical manifestation but the transition sort of like straddling between worlds of spiritual realm physical world is something that still takes time right you have to start it's almost like a gestation hermit period hibernation right where it's like you're still taking the time to utilize the wisdom that you've gained through this pain to actually use it in applicability so this is something that your person still has to clear out is that why they're not able to be receptive in this connection and give in to it um, is this is the reason why they become lazy um, because they're scared that if they get too close to you this fear of intimacy that you're not going to like them for who they are and this is um, precisely the reason that carries along is why they became superficial because they were scared um, and they were made felt in their childhood that they're not good enough so that power struggle that was um manifesting in reality as wanting to commit not wanting to commit um keeping things my way not being able to adjust is just because they were scared that you would be seeing who they are if they get too close to you so this was nothing that they didn't want you this was something that they couldn't understand how to tackle um we have intense chemistry like i've never felt it with anyone else so this is that sex in reverse not feeling fulfilled with other people because they take away from your person's energy your person has raised their vibration so um these people feel perhaps happy after that and act but you know your person feels more depleted because they're kind of like um being a martyr in this they're thinking that this is what they want and i think that your person has experienced this now they understand um healthy sexuality which is based Based upon love rather than lust so they are able to understand what you both have one last card the way you love me makes me so sure you're the one for me so thank you spirit this confirms everything that we said that you know even through the acts of physical intimacy this person feels like they're being loved by you and that is so important for them now is what i feel i get the image of somebody crying because i think sometimes when you abuse your body like that through physical pleasure it leaves you so depleted and you cry and i think this person is stumbling upon the very harsh truth that you know they didn't want to uh, pursue say get into sexual activities but they were craving to be loved this is that father wound that makes you over sexual so we have i am reparenting myself i'm learning what doesn't serve me thank you spirit and we have i'm loyal and committed to you so they understand what it really means to be in a commitment right and before we conclude pile number three i have a few advice cards for you we have change wind 24 reduces to six volcano power which is number nine in reverse I feel like at this point, even you're going through very deep changes. And if you chose this pilot, it means that you've been on this journey for quite some time. Majority of you, yes, yeah, Spirit is saying thank you, Spirit, that majority of you have been in this on this journey for a few years now or maybe months. But um, this is, you know, like the more that you're going deeper into your trauma work, you're seeing the wound better than ever. Uh, you're seeing how it has scattered in all areas of your life. And there's a part of you which needs to release this energy because otherwise it will burst out but that's not something you should be worried about but spirit is saying that that release or purging is coming where you're also going to see the way you let this person treat you and it's not completely their fault and there's going to be a point where you will have to forgive yourself so this is sort of like um 
premonition from spirit's side that this will be coming for you where you will have to purge this and forgive yourself and for that moment this advice comes in or this guidance spiritual guidance from your ancestors spirit guides that don't blame your person see how you let other people treat yourself because that's the way you feel like you should be treated so it will be very helpful if in that moment you don't try to curse your person because you will be also healing through your self-worth issues try to love yourself okay and for some reason they're telling me that this card is also important for you the way you love me makes me so sure you're the one for me try to accept the fact that you know this person genuinely loved you and the smallest things that they did for you and it was just their shadow side making you create this disbelief from within that they didn't want you or they didn't have pure intentions towards you okay so pile number three this was your reading i'm going to leave it here i really do hope that you found a message that was helpful if you did please do hit the like button subscribe for more hit the bell icon so you know whenever i upload next let me know down comment section how that resonated and i'm going to see you guys in another one bye